And I'm so grateful to have you on here, Cameron. Thank you. Well, it's, it's an honor. I've been on a couple of times, so thank you. And I've yeah. always enjoyed it. You have a fun, you have a fun group of viewers, and you know, and so it's it's great. And we're yes, we are in crazy times, but this is also the times where great genius can be born. You know, if you think about it, the the Renaissance, all you know, Michelangelo, uh, Da Vinci, all the great Renaissance artists, we you know that have left a legacy has lasted six, seven hundred years. They were not born in a normal time. What the Renaissance was was essentially Italy was falling apart. Oh yeah, you know, the, the the old remnants of sort of the Italian state, which was the the, the successor to the Roman Empire, was had collapsed. And you just had city states all warring with each other. You know, yep. Da Vinci primarily made his money not from his art, but he was a military engineer for the for the various warlords that were killing each other. He would develop siege engines for them. He would design weapons. That's how he paid his rent while he's painting the Mona Lisa, right? And so uh -oh. it is It is this chaotic period that we are in, which will also lead to the birth of incredible creativity. And I think we're going to look back and some of the greatest stories are going to come out over the next decade because of it. And I agree. I agree. Because it's really interesting. All of Europe was in uh, uh, turmoil during that period. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and uh, and it's true. Um, from dark periods comes uh, enlightenment. Well, and enlightenment. it's pressure. And the pressure, you know, th there's a fascinating scientific thing, which is they've discovered a gene called the DHD4 polymorphic gene, which they call the Da Vinci gene, which is a gene that apparently activates genius in people. Uh, it literally rewires their brain when it is a passive gene that is activated under great emotional stress as a survival mechanism. So only... A small percentage of the population even has a gene and it's dormant for, for most of them unless they suffer some severe personal stress that causes their body to essentially activate the gene as a defense mechanism and rewires the brain to make them creative geniuses to solve the crisis that's creating the stress right so yeah. genius cannot come out except through stress and we're going through stress i want to get tested for that because uh, i'm curious oh. if that's why i've always been so lucky and talent yet yeah, with talent well you know um, the and i want to make my announcement by the way uh i officially got the cover for gi joe uh a uh, great american hero uh wow. i'm gonna be doing idw hired me eight eight fucking years ago to do this and then they changed managers on gi joe and the guy wouldn't talk to me and uh because i'm military and and uh, a conservative and uh but he's watch. gone now and tom opened up the doors for me and i'm so grateful tom waltz at idw is a good friend and a hell of a manager and a great writer and i don't know if you know him or not but he really is he works on teenage mutant ninja turtles he's the senior oh, writer on that. wow wow yeah so I, I, tom waltz has really helped me a lot in my career and i'm so grateful to have him in my life and idw the guys at idw have always been good to me always but that's it for my announcement. Um, it's a huge announcement, and we're excited to see what you do. And there better be lovely women on that cover. Well, the best part is <laughs> they are going to get let me do it in the 80s style. Oh, oh well. Yeah. So I'm going to get to do the Marvel uh, G.I. Joe style. And I love those covers. I, I have a, well, I have several of those issues still left in my collection. Oh, you got to put a sexy Baroness on there in like 80s leather. Oh, my God. I'm actually considering uh, mm. one of the characters punching um, uh, Cobra Commander, like okay. uh, Captain America punching uh, Hitler. Yeah, so like that kind of that kind of callback to that classic uh, mm -hmm. cover. Wow, that's and great. it's not my idea. That was a friend of mine's idea. He says you got to do that. And I'm like, you know what, motherfucker, I will do it. I think Fuck it's a good you. idea. And and we'll just have we'll have Baroness behind, shocked, looking very lovely. Oh, her titties all. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. 